you're going to grab it. So don't grab it, let it go and not move it. See what I'm saying? When you're doing this, put it like, as your hand comes out to choke him, let this drag this over here. See, now I'm going to go for the choke. If he doesn't defend the choke, just choke him. Great. But if he starts defending the choke, see, and I can't get it, well, I, I, I act like I'm really trying to get the choke, go ahead and sleep it up. Now that, that lapel is sitting there. You see what I'm saying? Because you already had a tree sitting there. Okay, now reach up and grab your lapel, then stretch it. Now, see, now you have it. So that's what that hand, you gotta, you gotta hide that lapel like you're here and go like really committed like you're going for the choke. So he's thinking that that's what you were doing, going for the choke. He doesn't notice that what you were really doing was just setting the lapel up. See what I'm saying? So don't leave the lapel alone, let go, go for the choke, then go back and you're like, where's that lapel at? Pull the lapel down, pull it out, go for the choke. If he doesn't defend the choke, choke him. If he does defend the choke, bring your leg over the lapels right where you left it. Then hip strip out. As you hip switch out, grab your lapel. Stretch. Then stretch him out. Most of them will tap right there. But if he's super flexible, go ahead and bring your leg over his head and then tap him with the regular armor. Never let that one go. Keep that one tucked. Off of that, and that's what gives him that crucifix feeling. But you're going.